Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Ralph Humphrey, and this is another episode of Rhythmic Awareness. You can see the title of this episode is The Evolution of a Frank Zappa Drum Fill. Well, it, there's a tune called More Trouble Every Day. It comes from Live at the Roxy. And uh, this tune was written back in the early 70s. I say written, basically spoon-fed to the band because Frank did not come in with a score for everybody. But the tune had to do with, of course, the Watts Riots of 1965. And there's some lines in the song that I think are apropos to what's happening today. A line like, every day is a rotten mess, and when it's going to change is anybody's guess. And then the other line, there's no way to delay that trouble's coming every day. Sounds just like today. Frank was very vocal in his political and social comments, in a lot of his songs, in a lot of public statements. So besides being a brilliant guitarist, I think he might have been leading in himself into some politics. If only he had lived. We miss him. So getting back to the topic of the day, uh, I, the evolution of a drum fill. So Frank comes in to the rehearsal and he has these ideas for this song, More Trouble Every Day. And <clears throat> there's a line, a horn line, a band line, I should say, in the tune that goes, ba da ba da ba 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 da Okay, so this is the beat for four, one, two, three, four. Ba da ba da ba 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 da So Frank dictates that to the band and says, okay, after that, I want a two-bar drum fill. Points to Chester and I, Chester Thompson, that is, and says, put a drum solo here, or, to, or words to that effect. Uh, so here we are on the spot, uh, figuring out, well, what, what are we going to play? Uh, so I suppose some drummers might just put a fill uh, randomly off the top of their head. And maybe at every point in this composition, they would, they would improvise. Um, but I kind of took the lead on this particular spot and thought, well, wait a minute. I think we should build a, comp a, a drum fill that is part of the composition. And so my thought was, because I didn't want to hold Frank up too long in this moment, my thought was, well, this line, ba da ba da ba 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 da there's a, there's a very important syncopation at the end of the first bar going into the second bar. ba da ba da ba ba those, all those uh, upbeat notes are very, very important to that line. So my thought was, well, let me build a drum fill that simulates that rhythm, all right? So now I'm gonna play for you that horn line, and then you're gonna hear the drum fill, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Here we go. Okay, so. So you can hear the syncopation in the drum part. And if you want to think about it as a grouping, all right, so it imitates the rhythm of the horn line. And now that fill uh, was also constructed orchestrationally by me, uh, where it's a, a cool hand and foot combination. And then you can hear it sort of flips over uh, on the last beat of the first bar <clears throat> and continues into the second bar. So the second bar sounds like a continuation of the syncopated effect. Uh, so the fill became kind of iconic in the song. And every time that line that horn line comes up, you will hear the same drum fill. And with two drummers playing it, it's very, very powerful. So that shows you that, um, you know, drum parts and drum fills in songs can become part of the song. You, you expect that particular drum fill, that particular drum beat, maybe that even particular drum sound, okay? Um, <clears throat> Did Frank like the fill? Did he say anything about the fill? Well, no, he said nothing. 
and I took that as a thumbs up. Uh, so uh, usually with, with Frank, there were not too many compliments flying my way or anybody's way. Uh, but if Frank did not say anything, then it was OK. So you can see where there are elements in Frank's music, not just from the drummers, but from other players in the band that would add to his compositions. He did not write them. We created them. Of course, it's the Frank Zappa stamp. All right. And I and I give that to him completely. Um, so anyhow, that's that shows you the the, the thinking process and uh, and and how that particular drum fill came about. All right. I hope that was informative to you and uh, look forward to future episodes. Thank you, YouTube subscribers. Thank you, Facebook people. Uh, bring those comments back to me. I'm, I'm happy to uh, answer any questions you might have. All right. Have a great day. Take care.